Well, welcome back. Uh, just come up here, up the dockade area. Just gonna do a bit of scratching. I've got a few worms, just for a few hours. See what's about. Never know, might be an early soul. Um, I'm sure they'll be the usual suspects. But yeah, I had a few bass earlier on the lure and that, so that was good. Enjoyed that. And uh, like I said, I'm just uh, drowning a few worms. Just kill a few hours now, so beautiful, beautiful evening. Quite warm now. See what happens. See if they're going to play ball. Either way, everything works on the boat. Everything's all going well. Crack, it's certainly a cracking evening. I'll get the other rod out in a minute. Just got the one out at the moment. Just see what's about. A little bit of weed. Tides on the flood. See what happens. I'll keep you informed. Bring it on. Well, time for a bait check. I've had a couple of rattles, but. Nothing of too much interest. Not sure if there's something on here or not. Weed. Look at that, absolutely cracking, a whiting and a flounder. <laughs> oh, I'm happy with that, that's the first fish on the bottom this evening, had a little tiny flounder and a whiting, I knew the whiting would be there but uh, that's a bonus fish just getting that little whiting, no, uh, sorry the flounder. Look at that, beautiful. Look at that in the sun. Gorgeous. Absolutely well pleased with that. Then we got the usual whiting. Just for a change. Yeah, so two hooks. <coughs> Size four camazans. You never know, there might be a soul there, to be fair. I don't think that flounder would have taken much be much more of a bigger up. Hey look, he's got a little belly on him as well. He's been feeding up. Beautiful, right. Let's get him off and uh, get it back out. Happy days. Well. Here we go, what have we got here? Good old ratchet screamer going there. Oh, wonder what this is. I'd say it's a ray. Don't think it's a doggy. I'd say, definitely say it's a ray. So if I don't pick me other line up, that's the only problem. <coughs> Can't really do much with the other rod at the moment. Oh, I'm sure it's a ray. Probably a small thorn back or something. But it certainly gave a good, uh, good run. A few little nods there. I know the other rod did have a couple of bites before this one went off, so I thought I'd just leave it a bit longer. And then sort of all out of the blue, this one just uh, went for it. It's going right over there. It's going 
onto the boat. As I'm casting out in the deeper, in the channel. All right, what we got? It's not an eel, is it? Look at that. I'm nowhere near the leader yet. It's a bit of fun, whatever it is. I'm staying deep now. There's the leader knot, I think. Yep, there's the leader knot. Alright, what we got? There's, there's got to be a ray. Just, there's, the, there's the lead. Come on, I don't care. Oh, oh. Go on then. Go on then. Yeah, look at that. Told you. Thorn bag. Nice. Nice thorny. There we go. Happy days. Nice to see a ray for a change. And some beautiful. Nice. Can't moan at that. Got a size four just in its just in the corner of its mouth there. That's nice. At five pounds, four, five. Yeah. And there he goes. Happy days. Can't complain at that. Still chuffed with that flounder, but yeah. Cool. Bring it on, right? Let's get it back out there. Right, so Thornback's back in. Let's uh and so I had a couple of bites on this one before the thorn bank. Yeah, definitely something there. The tide's being a pain in the ass with the wind. Yeah. Oh, a couple of little nods probably whiting. Just my luck. What we got? There we go, another whiting. Cool. Let's have another check. See what's occurring. Oh, looks like the old white and they're just coming onto the V. Looks like I might have one on here. Bit of a bummer. Oh, feel it rattling away. Here's the leader. bass oh another bass happy days not the biggest in the world but comes a big old uh, container ship he's pretty laden They're monstrous worms, but they are lovely and fresh. Bit of a bastard to put on a size four, but once they're on, you can thread them. The usual rig that I'm using <coughs> to a to a running ledger. I did manage to uh, have time to get some vermiculite on these worms. Do like the vermiculite, especially you know if you're going to use it and you know you're going to either run out of worms or throw them by the end of the night. They do dry them out of treat find them a bit slimy and Pete. Uh, 
it's certainly a big old lump in it. Drop the tugs there, helping it. Right, let's get this one back out and check the next one. Well, welcome back. That's me done for the evening. I didn't really want to stay too long. I've got work in the morning, so uh, that's it. Anchors up. About a cracking, cracking evening to be fair, an afternoon, late afternoon, evening. Can't complain at all. Uh, what was it? What was the count? Oh, it's in the book. I think nine white in, one thorn back. That flounder, two pout, and probably it must have been almost a dozen bass at least on the lures on that little spot. So that was good. So happy days. I suppose roll on, uh, roll on next weekend. Hopefully the weather holds and uh, see what happens. It's a beautiful evening now. The sun's just setting well. Have lights are on. Right, let's get in. Well, have you enjoyed it today? Uh, it'd be great if you could like and subscribe. Plenty more videos to come, so bring it on. Happy days. Well, welcome back to Dobbo's Fishing Adventures, and like I said trying a few lure different type of lures so we've got a nice just a weighted soft one there little jig got a fluorocarbon leader there I've had a few little uh, <clears throat> a few little ones nothing any size but uh, I'm giving it a go Using the Sky Road, Major Craft Sky Road. And the VR, Van Style VR50. Such a good combination at the moment. giving it little fast little pulls little tweaks oh come on then that was one then I've seen a few follow it and chase it different lures as well this one seems to be the best one that's working at the moment some topping earlier <clears throat> just chasing some white bait about there was but oh that was tangled Occasionally just uh, but goes back on the tail and you feel like you've wasted a cast. That's 
nice. That was a nice one. Right, let it sink a bit. You know, you can fish in open water or you can fish near a structure or something. Oh, that, no, missed it. It's getting the odd little, odd little take. Get right down there. I have to say, it really does cast lovely light jigs, the rod and reel. But then, some of it's down to the braid as well. I'm using 131 suffix, and uh, to be fair, it's uh, incredible. Oh, and again, add another take then. Almost under that little bridge. Try a slow retreat. See if that makes a difference. But don't think just because you're close to the boat that they're not going to take it. I can assure you they will take it if they have to. I mean, I think that's only 12 grams, that little jig head is. It's really, I mean, I've got a bit of wind with me, admittedly. Come on then. alternate the pattern Oh, you bugger. And again, go on. Oh, a couple of takes then.
little bit of bottom fishing just back up towards Dockhead in a minute got a few worms I just wanted to have a play on the lures for a, an hour or so and that's probably about me done I think happy days Perfect, right. Let's get some bottom baits out. Let's go and move.